Hello everyone, my name's Hannah. Um, I know this is kind of a strange video, but I just, I just want to put this out there. Just because no one talks about this and no one really thinks about this. At least not that I know of here. <laughs> Um, so, before I get into kind of my little rant, or whatever, I'm gonna tell you, like, how I grew up with my autism. So, when I was younger, when I was about, like, I think four, I was diagnosed with autism. I think it was like Asperger's at first, but it like changed into ADD and PDD, which is Attention Deficit Disorder and Pervasive De Developmental Disorder. Um, I thought life was pretty normal for me, just going to therapy, going to like these special programs and stuff, I thought that was normal for me. Until I went to elementary school. And it was like about fourth grade. And this was before all the anti bullying laws took place. And people like just didn't bully, you know? And so the anti bullying laws weren't in place at this time. And I got bullied by this one kid and they would just they would just piss me off so much and whenever I would tell a teacher I would get in trouble for tattling and they would just get a slap on the wrist like basically and there's this one time when we both had in-house suspension and if you've ever had that, you basically have to sit in a room quietly and do work. And so we both were in the same room together, quiet. There was no one there but secretary. And he just left in the middle of in-house suspension. And for me, it's like, do I say anything? Like. If I say anything, I'll get in trouble, you know? It's like... And so I didn't say anything. And once the principal came back, they're like, what happened? And I told them, well, he left, you know? Like, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to get in trouble. And he's like, uh, just go to class. And then, like, freaking, like, two years later or something, the anti-bullying laws passed, and it's like... I know this is a, this isn't about anti-bullying, this is about my autism, but it just frustrated me. And um, when I entered middle school it, and high school and college, they were all really hard transitions for me. You know, they always say, oh, we're gonna prepare you for middle school. Oh, we're gonna prepare you for high school. Oh, we're gonna prepare you for college. but. I really don't think they did because uh, it's just I can't explain like just the first year of every transition grade kind of like sixth grade ninth grade and college it's basically like a complete wreck a complete wreck and you know, it and it wasn't until high school that I became what they call normalized. I know that well, that word is stupid because I, I still have the autism. You know, I, I'm still me. I, hello, like I I still have brain issues. <laughs> um, so after high school, you know, <laughs> just during high school. 
I had put on my IEP every single year that I wanted to go to college. Every single year. And I went to like all the college fairs that the school had and some kids just went to avoid class but I went because I wanted to look at the colleges. I wanted to look at what they had and my dream it still is. It's acting. And you know, they gave me a false sense of hope because they're like, oh yeah, we're going to transition you into college, you know? You're going to be great in college. No. No, I wasn't. My first year doing liberal arts, I was a complete wreck. I was a complete mess. I had wanted to quit so many times. And I was basically on the edge of failing and I'm like, well, I need something more stable for me. I need to do something that I know that I enjoy. And that's why I joined the Development of Disabilities major. And just right now, I'm actually passing. And it's like, you can actually pass? Like, how is that possible, Hannah? It's like, uh, the main reason I joined is because I wanted to be an advocate. Maybe I couldn't be an actress. Maybe I couldn't be a filmmaker. Maybe I couldn't be a photographer. But I at least want to be an advocate. And the main reason why they didn't transition me is because in high school, like, they're like, oh, it's okay, you can just do two to three pages, it's fine. They did something that I was comfortable with, but when you're in college, you have to do five page papers, otherwise you fail. And I had to take composition two twice and thank God. God, that the second time I actually passed. <sighs> so, I just want you guys to know, people with disabilities, even people who don't have disabilities, who are homeless, who are poor, who don't think they can achieve anything in life, I was part of the, I'm still part of the d d people with disabilities group, and I was part of the group where I was in government housing, you know, I was poor. But I just want to let you guys know, you can do whatever you want. I know you can. I know you will. Because I believe in you. And it just frustrates me because, like, in some programs, they teach the kids, like, how to stock shelves and it's just like it's just it frustrates me because it just makes it seem like they can only do that one thing stocking shelves I know I'm doing an internship that has a program like that I, I kind of have to do an internship but Secretly, it frustrates me, and I want that to change. Because you can do so much more. You can. I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. You can do whatever your heart wants. When I was trying to find jobs in high school, you know, I always told them that about my disability if I got an interview and they never called me back and when I got my job at the supermarket last summer, um, basically I didn't tell them about my disability because I, I wanted a job. I, I just... I just wanted a job and basically 
They told me one time, oh well, we, you got a customer complaint, you know, you gotta try and do better, you know? And so, I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So, I tried my best. I tried my absolute best and they fired me. They fired me because they said that I got multiple complaints. I only heard about one. One complaint. And they said that I was struggling. Or, or they said, like, t my mom gave him an angry call because she's been my advocate all these years. And, and they're like, oh, well, if she was struggling, then she could have told us. And I was just thinking, I didn't know I was struggling. <laughs> I know they have discrimination laws, but I just I just feel like they do silent discrimination. I they just turn their backs to people like us and it frustrates me because I didn't know I was um I was struggling. But no matter what you do, you can do it. No matter if you want to be a dancer, no matter if you want to paint or if you just want to work an office job or something, you can do it. I'm Hannah Sukroff and I have autism. <laughs>